in continuation of our last discussion of the culture medias where we discussed about the simple medias and the enriched media this is the second part of the culture media discussion and here we will talk about the enrichment broad and the transport media now first coming to the enrichment broad so what is the meaning of broad broad means any culture media which is liquid in consistency will be called as a broad that means one thing is clear here that the all the medias which are in uh, enrichment broad they all will be liquid in consistency now what is the definition or what is the concept behind this enrichment broad the concept is that these enrichment broad are added with some inhibitory substances which allows the growth of only a particular bacteria while inhibit the all other bacteria so this we will uh, understand with some examples suppose we have two bacteria we have bacteria a and we have bacteria b the bacteria a is inhibited by substances x y okay and the bacteria b is inhibited by substances suppose p and q okay so the x and y substance inhibit the bacteria a and p and q substance inhibit bacteria b that means if we want to make a enrichment broth for the bacteria a that enrichment broth should contain these substances p and q so when we are making this enrichment broth we will we will make sure that it contains p and q so that uh, when we add the specimen into this enrichment broth it inhibits this bacteria b while the growth of the bacteria a is favored okay and similarly if we would have wanted to make a enrichment broth for bacteria b then we would have added the substances x and y so that the bacteria a is uh, if the bacteria a get inhibited and the bacteria b easily can grow so that's the concept behind the enrichment broth okay here some inhibitory agents are added that allows only a particular bacteria to grow while inhibit the all other bacteria okay so now for isolation of specific pathogens from the specimens which is supposed to contain the normal flora also so suppose this uh, this uh, this is a specimen of sputum this contains bacteria a and uh, bacteria b also okay so we want to isolate bacteria a we are suspecting bacteria a as a uh, positive agent and this but this also contains bacteria b so that's why we will add the uh, uh, inhibitory substance of bacteria b that is p and q so that this normal cell flora bacteria that is bacteria b gets inhibited while the bacteria a can grow in it okay and by that we will be able to uh, extract or i mean to uh, uh, isolate the bacteria a from that specimen so this is how we utilize the enrichment broth now the different examples of the uh, enrichment broth are the alkaline peptone water the alkaline peptone water is used for the vibrio cholerae okay that is a uh, enrichment broth for the vibrio cholerae the tetra cyanide broth is a enrichment broth for the salmonella typhi and the gram negative broth is the enrichment broth for the shigella and selenide as broth is the enrichment broth for the shigella so these are the examples these are very frequently asked in the as a mcqs also so please remember these examples along with the enrichment broth okay the different organisms and their enrichment broth should be remembered these are very frequently asked in vivas as well as in the mcqs in the university exams now coming to the transport media so the transport media refers to those media which are used for the transport of the clinical specimens when there is delay in the transporting the specimen to the lab or the specimen is suspected to contain some delicate organisms okay so suppose if we if the lab is uh, located 10 kilometers away from the site of collection of that specimen then if we are carrying that specimen uh without uh, taking any measures in that hot humid condition of indian uh, climate then that specimen the bacteria may die in that na so that will lead to false uh, reports uh, after the uh, culture is done in the microbiological labs so 
we do not want that we want to make that bacteria uh, viable in that transport so that if when it uh, when we culture that specimen in the, in the microbiological labs then we uh, we uh, when we can get that growth of that uh, suspected organism okay so that is the concept of the transport media so uh, the transport medias are used for the transport of the specimens from the site of collection to the laboratories okay and also sometimes some organisms are very delicate they cannot uh, uh, remain outside for more than suppose 2 hours or 3 hours so for them also we need to have a media so that also that that is also fulfilled by this uh, that i mean that requirement is also fulfilled by this transport medias okay so uh, uh, that is the trans definition of the transport media transport medias please remember that they do not allow the multiplication of the bacteria into them they just make the bacteria viable till this specimen reaches to the lab okay so this is a very important note note here that the bacteria do not multiply but only remains viable in that transport media they just remain viable they just remain viable in the transport media they do not multiply in the transport media this in all other media the bacteria multiply the transport media is the only media where bacteria do not multiply and just remain viable okay now coming to the examples of the transport media so please remember these examples of the transport media is also because this is also asked as in the mcqs uh, or in the vivas as well these are very important okay now coming to the different examples so that is the venkat raman uh, venkat ramakrishnan media or the autoclaved sea water this is a transport media for the vibrio cholerae amis media and the stewards media this is the transport media for nigeria and the buffered glycerol saline these are the this i mean buffered glycerol saline is the transport media for the cigella and the salmonella please remember these examples you must remember these examples before going to the microbiological practical exams and also there is carry blair media that is for the vibrio cholerae sigella plus salmonella okay so please remember these examples these are very important examples from exam point of view both the examples of the trans, uh, transport media and also the examples of the examples of the enrichment broth these both are very important next we will talk the uh, about the differential media in the next lecture that will also be a very important lecture on the culture media